women's strawweight matchup between Carolina Kovalkiewicz and Felice Herrick. Hey guys, my name is Connor from UK Game Bureau and welcome to our EA Sports UFC 3 simulation and prediction of Carolina Kovalkiewicz versus Felice Herrick. So this fight is taking place in the women's strawweight division of the UFC and it's featuring Carolina Kovalkiewicz and Felice Herrick. Now Felice Herrick is boasting a record of 14 wins, 6 losses, with 4 of those wins being by submission. And Carolina Kovalkiewicz is sporting a record of 11 wins, 2 losses, with 2 wins by submission and 1 by knockout. So we're going to start this off by having a little look in depth at Felice Herrig. So although she is 14-6, and 6, which may not be the greatest record, she's actually on a 4 fight winning streak, including names such as Alexa Grasso and Justine Kish. She has won 3 of those fights by decision and 1 by submission by rear naked choke. Now Felice did actually use to kickbox and she comes from a striking background, but I would actually say her grappling is her strongest asset. She has a lot of submission wins, as we said before, she has 4 submission wins, and she's very good at controlling people on the ground, even if she isn't getting most finishes themselves as well. That being said, over her last few fights, especially the ones against Alexa Grasso and ones against Courtney Casey, she's managed to mix in a lot of good boxing and good kickboxing styles into that as well. So she's a bit more of an all-round fighter now, she's good at everything, whereas before she'd either lean completely on her kickboxing or lean completely on her grappling, whereas now she's put it all together. Now before in the UFC, she was training wins for losses, she'd win one, lose one, win one, lose one, Whereas this little streak she's got going on has actually almost put her in title contention and a win over Carolina I think would actually net her a title shot in the very near future. Now let's have a look at Carolina Kovalkiewicz. She's currently 1-2 and two in her last three, but those two losses are nothing to be ashamed of They come to Joanna Jacek and Claudia Gadea. Before that she had a 10-0 record in the UFC with her last win actually coming over Rose Namajunas, who is currently the UFC's strawweight champion. Her last fight was a unanimous decision victory over Jody Escabel. Now Caroline herself is very striking oriented, she has very good boxing, she has good kicks and she's very good in the clinch as well. In her fight against Rose Namajunas, it was a very close fight, it was a split decision, but I think what edged out that win for her was she managed to get a lot of dirty boxing in and she was very good in the clinch, whereas Rose tended to fade away from there. Now although she is a striker and that is predominantly how she fights, she does have a lot of decisions, so she's not really known for having a lot of power behind those punches and not a lot of power behind her strikes. She is very much more of a point fighter on the feet as opposed to a knockout artist. So this matchup between the two of them is actually very interesting to me because there's no clear way of who it goes. If you look at Carolina Kovalkiewicz, she's definitely fought the more experienced fighters. She's fought Rosanna Muniz, Ioanni Jacek, Claudia Gadea. You could argue those are three of the best women in the division. Well, it's not even an argument, they are three of the best women in the division. Whereas Felice Herrick, she hasn't had that big win yet, but obviously Carolina, being Carolina, would do that for her. Stylistically, I think they're actually very even on the feet. I think maybe Carolina has the edge in the pure boxing, but when it comes to using the kicks as well, I say Felice has an advantage there. In the clinch, it'll be very interesting. As I mentioned before, Carolina's very good there, but Felice is no slouch there either. When it comes to grappling, on the other hand, I would put that all in Felice's corner. Carolina hasn't shown too much off the ground. She's shown some good offensive abilities with her submissions. But defensively, she hasn't really shown much. In fact, her loss against Claudia Gadea back at UFC 212, she was taken down and just immediately strangled with a rear naked choke a few minutes into the first round. I would definitely say that Felice has more ways to win this fight. I don't really feel like either of these two girls are going to be getting a knockout or a TKO, but I do feel like Felice can submit Carolina, whereas Carolina maybe will not be able to get herself in a position to submit Felice. Another important thing that no one really thinks about, because obviously it's not to do with skill, but the momentum is clearly in Felice's corner. She has four wins on the trot, she's looking like she could potentially get a title shot soon. As Caroline seems to be a bit forgotten in this division, obviously she had that loss to Ioanni on Jacek back at UFC 205. It was not a blowout fight, but it was a clear win for Ioanna. Then she got submitted in the first round by Claudia Gadea, and then she fought Jody Escabel. It was a good win, but it's not over a big name opponent. So people are forgetting about her a bit, maybe she wants to get a big win over Felice and put a big stamp to say, hey, I'm still here. So when it comes to predictions, it, like I said, it's very hard to predict because they are... Even though their styles aren't the same, they're sort of very similar in how they're kind of good at everything but not great at anything. It is quite a 50-50 match, but purely because of the momentum and she has more grappling prowess, I'm going to go with a Fleece Herrig win. I think I'm going to go with a Fleece Herrig unanimous decision win. That is my prediction. Declaring the winner by tap out, Fleece will be So on our EA Sports UFC 3 simulation of Carolina Kovalkiewicz vs Felice Herrig, we had a Felice Herrig win by Kimura in the third round at 2 minutes and 53 seconds.
And if you're planning on watching this fight, let us know in the comments down below, either on YouTube, Facebook or Twitter, and let us know your prediction and we can see if anyone gets it right after the fight. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below, and as always, to see more videos coming soon, please subscribe to the channel.